the relations between the communities, the personal relations are overall good. But we should create the conditions that would allow this good relationship to thrive. I'd like to pick up on your point about the good relationships between people in Cyprus on both communities. And I want to bring you this report from our correspondent, Alexia Kafalas, about the actual experience that Greek and Turkish Cypriots have of each other. Let's take a look. In his recording studio, Larko is putting the finishing touches to his new album, a composer who uses music to advocate the reunification of his island. For the past two years, he's been married to Hatice, who is a Turkish Cypriot. I think the situation in Cyprus is ridiculous. We should not distinguish between ourselves and call each other Turkish Cypriot or Greek Cypriot, because we're all Cypriots first. We want to show in what we are doing with our music. We are putting two dialects, two languages together. Okay, so we are showing that because music is exactly the same. We share the same traditions, all right? Larko is persuaded that the island's reunification is within reach. But when we meet him in the center of Nicosia the next day, his speech is more reserved. The day's headlines have dimmed his hopes. The headlines of this newspaper are talking about an impasse in the negotiations. Of course, it's a difficult process, but those who have lost their homes must remember that they won't be able to get them back. A few days later, he crosses the border into the occupied part of the capital. Here, in this place, a Turkish Cypriot association welcomes children with disabilities or faced with academic difficulties and offers cultural activities. Lorca wants to help these children with his music and hopes to offer them his new album once it's finished. He also believes that it is through this that people will be able to mature, to come closer and understand that they have a common destiny to share. Andreas Mavrona, so when you see that report, you see some of the young people, yes. uh, particularly on the Turkish Cypriot side, engaging with uh, the Greek Cypriots. Do you say to yourself those people are representative or exceptional? Because after all, anyone who actually remembers peaceful coexistence now from the old days is at least 50 years old, 55 years old. So is this, is this an exceptional situation, what you just saw there? Maybe to this extent where you are having a mixed uh, marriage is uh, not very common. But uh, good relations between uh, young people and people from the two communities are rather, rather common, and they become part of uh, the way of life of Cyprus. And this is why we need to do more in order to allow this to happen, and we need to create the political conditions for this. This is what we need with the settlement of Cyprus. By this, if you allow me just one second, it is just anecdotal, but I was so happy enough to have attended the the concert uh, the evening Larko and Hadise announced their engagement. <laughs> right. Well, that's good.